by chance, Kherson is still in jubilation now that they've been liberated from the Russians. It happened much faster than people here expected. People came here to the town square not expecting to see their president. You see their reaction on the people. People waited for the Ukrainian army. Ukrainian officials are already warning of war crimes, a mass burial site, and torture chambers. The people of Kherson lived in terror under the Russian occupation. The Russian soldiers was uh, uh, buy coffee in my shop. Eugene Chaikiu says he tried to keep a low profile, especially after the Russians tortured friends of his. After all these months, how's it feel? Easy to breathe now, you know? I feel this freedom from the bottom of my heart. And uh, I'm happy to see there's so many happy faces. We're still hearing the sound of explosions. Are you still nervous? We kind of used to it. Veronica Stobkovich says she finally feels safe to leave her house. When you go to the square and see Ukrainian soldiers, it's a happiness that you can't put into words, she says, because we really waited for them. Why didn't you leave? We have four dogs, four cats, and two kittens, and we took care of our neighbor's pets, she says. Now Ukrainian officials are suggesting that residents leave the city amidst a growing humanitarian crisis. No power, no water, scarce food and medicine, and little communication with the outside world. These people right here are gathered around an electrical outlet that's connected to a generator. And also, thanks to Starlink, they're able to connect, many of them for the first time with loved ones in quite some time. Though free, they remain isolated. We saw the conditions along the road into Hersan during our bus ride in from Mykolaiv. Checkpoint after checkpoint, long stretches of single lane dirt roads to get around sections of highway demolished by shelling, power lines destroyed. At one point, military escorts cut short a quick stop after an explosion in the distance. As you enter the city, it appears largely intact. Putin's plan was to make it forever Russian rather than destroy it. As we came in, we saw billboards being taken down, billboards put up by the Russians. One of them that remains says, with Russia forever. When we arrived, our local producer, Dimitro, reunited with his mother and seven-year-old brother, who he'd not seen since the invasion nearly nine months ago. He left them food and water to help them get through the weeks ahead as the humanitarian crisis sees no quick end. Even as President Zelensky was here, we heard in the distance the sound of explosions. It wasn't clear whether that was artillery or unexploded ordnance that was being exploded by the Ukrainians as they clear out the mines and clear out the booby traps and other ordnance that has been left behind by the Russians. This remains a very dangerous city still. Chance? Yeah, good to keep in mind, but Dimitro, that's wonderful. Jason Bellini reporting from the newly liberated Ukrainian city of Hassan. Thank you.